Hi, my name is Jean-Max Morris and I'm the creative director on Remember Me. In this new video, we're going to dive into the game's central theme, memories. Every day, everything that we see, hear, feel and learn gets stored in real time in our brains. Our memories define who we are. And in 2013, it is safe to say that memories are the last pieces of our intimacy that we haven't uploaded onto social networks for others to see. In 2084, the last barriers of intimacy have been brought down by the Sensen, a brain implant that allows people to digitize our memories in real time and share them with other people. And it is Memorize, a new Paris-based corporation that is to thank for what is seen by many as the biggest technical revolution in history. An immense power lays in the hands of Memorize, which controls, through memories, the most intimate and personal data of 99% of the population. Everyone is perfectly aware of this, but at the same time is willing to take the risk in exchange for the unreal pleasures of memory sharing. There is, however, a small group of activists who are fighting against Memorize. They call themselves the Aerists, and you get to play the most gifted this of them all. Her name is Nilin, an elite memory hunter. She has the power to dive into your mind and steal your memories. Nilin can render a stolen memory in real time and in three dimensions. This is called a remembrane and is a technique conceived by the New Paris police to investigate murders based on the memories retrieved from the senses of witnesses. This procedure has been hacked by the arrests. And you will have to make good use of the information contained in the memories of your targets to overcome dangers in the present time. Whether it is to cross a minefield, sneak into a highly secured area, or many other situations you will encounter in the game. But sometimes just stealing memories will not be enough. You might then have to resort to Nilin's unique superpower, the Memory Remix, which consists in changing just a few details in one memory to drastically alter someone's behavior in a butterfly effect manner. The first step in a Memory Remix is to watch the initial memory of your target play out. Because I won't be standing next to you in a photo? Get real, Frank. I'm not gonna pretend anymore. Right. Don't you dare walk out! <laughs> Fuck you, Frank! Alex! Once this initial discovery phase is over, you take full control over the memory. You are the hand of God and are able to rewind and fast forward the memory as much as you want. What you will be looking for is memory glitches, which will point out objects that you can interact with and that you will be able to combine to change the outcome of the memory. Altering the right details will allow you to radically modify the outcome of the targeted memory. Be serious, Frank. You never even take the safety off. Alex! And sometimes changing just one of your memories could mean changing I'm yourself so entirely. But occasionally Nilin's weapons can turn against her, and at the beginning of the game she gets her memory entirely wiped at the Bastille fortress where she is being held prisoner. She embarks on a quest to get her identity back. Edge, the leader of the Aerists, contacts Nilin and helps her to escape from the Bastille. Edge will be her only friend at first, her guide in a city where she is wanted and hunted, and Nilin will be his best weapon to strike against Memorize. She will rediscover fragments of her identity thanks to the past friends she will meet. Nilin will also be able to count on the help of her fellow errorists who have left behind memories of hidden ability enhancing plugins for her to find. Indeed, in order to find out who she really is, Nilin will have no choice but to fight to get her memory back. She will unlock forgotten combat memories and be able to use them in battle. These memories are called Presence. You'll be able to customize your own combos with them and choose the fighting style that suits you best. The input sequence of your four combos is immutable, but you can change the gameplay effect of every hit and create chains. It is a very easy to pick up system, but if you choose to master it, you will be rewarded by the depths it has to offer. Here, you can see Nilin fighting a Leaper. Leapers are memory junkies. They have consumed so many memories from so many different people that their sensen has degenerated and their DNA has mutated. But they remain humans and for some reasons they're very hostile towards Nilin. 
On top of her basic moves, Nilin will also unlock memories of special powers which we call Aspressens. They are particularly powerful and you will often need them to turn the tide of battle. Especially when these battles take place at the heart of the tortured memory and soul of boss enemies. In these fights you will not be fighting physical enemies anymore, but instead you will come to hands with the conflicted psyche of Nilin's worst enemies. Nilin will also perform memory overloads to finish off enemies, causing them to drop to the ground unconscious. They will eventually get up, but they might not remember their name or where they live. You will also be able to learn everything you need to know about Neo Paris and the Sen Sen by collecting Mnesist memories. These memories are provided to citizens by the Mnesist NGO and are scattered throughout the city. Their purpose is to preserve the memory of a world in which all memories can be shared, but perversely many essential things and events have already been forgotten. I'm late, I'm late. <sighs> and this concludes our journey into the memories of Nilin and Neo Paris. I hope you liked what you saw and that you will soon dive into the universe of Remember Me by Yourself. I'm here to get my memory back.